Today, we celebrate our Independence Day. Happy 4th of July, everyone. And if you're not in the United States, well, you can celebrate it too, I guess. But uh, today, because it's the 4th, I figured that there wouldn't be a better day to take a look at these two American flag builds that I made. And we will start um, over here. This one was the first one that I made. And so I just used simple one by one uh, plates to make the stars. That's by far the most complicated part of this build. This one, I wasn't exactly super happy with just because I didn't account for that tile on the top um, so the tile on the top here as well as this uh, layer of plates on the bottom uh, makes these two um, red banners just slightly uneven with the uh, the rest of the stripes and if we go ahead and we turn it around we can see uh, down at the bottom there um, I use some of the uh, plates with the little uh, hinge um, to try and make it just a tad bit more stable um, however I found on the uh, second flag that I did that that was unnecessary um, um, so I chose not to do it and I improved the build and so let's go ahead and take a look at the second flag that I made so this was flag attempt number two um, which I am actually really satisfied with. Um, I didn't include that bottom layer there, and then I made sure for this top stripe to do two plates, and then a tile cross. And then here, you might notice that the stars look a little different here, and that's because they are using the uh, one by one round tile from my uh, dots haul um, which again you can check that video out if you saw that video then you know that these one by one um, round tiles are special in that they are all glow in the dark so let's go ahead and we'll take a second to show how that looks like in the dark so hopefully you can see that um, I didn't turn the light all the way off, but I dimmed it significantly, and hopefully you can see the difference here, and how those look as compared to the, uh, white stripes. Um, it's hard to capture on camera, but when all the lights go off, it's really kind of neat to see all those glow in the dark, um, for now, this is all of my uh, American flag builds. Um, if LEGO comes out with a um, cheap way to build or have a uh, brick in glow in the dark um, that I could replace all these white stripes with, um, I think I would go ahead and do that, especially with the new glow-in-the-dark white um, or it's not glow-in-the-dark opaque it, it is more glow-in-the-dark white and so there's a little difference um, between it and regular white um, when you're looking at them but not too much so we'll go ahead and we'll put the lights back on and so yeah taking a final look at flags one and two, um, I'm pretty glad with how these turned out. Um, I think they turned out fine. 
Um, I actually really like having them on display. I know that probably won't apply to you if you're not in America, um, but if you are, I think that these are a great little um, mock to have on your shelf or um, even hang on your wall if you felt so inclined. Um, but so that's going to do it for uh, the video today. And so uh, I really hope you guys enjoyed. Um, like, subscribe, do all the stuff. Bye bye.